Hey, this is Charles. A buddy of mine asked me to take a look at a piece of software he was working on, and did I like it? Did I love it? And what did I think about it? Now, this is actually called Backlinks Loophole, and it's really a slick little piece of software. I think it has some applications a lot of people don't realize, but I'm going to show you some of the cool things about it. First of all, let's go File, New, New Project, and we can create a new project, open a previously saved project, or just exit. I'm going to create a new project here. And at this point, we can search for EDU backlinks, social sites, which are, you know, Web 2.0 properties, Gov sites, which are like the holy grail along with EDU, or search general sites for backlinks. And at that point, you know, you can actually click these on and off if you want. At this point, I'm just going to say add. And I'm going to plug in a few terms here. Now, I've plugged in two terms. Now, there's one thing interesting to note. You can actually check these off until you've actually entered in some terms. So that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and I just plugged in two things here and you can just hit add to create new ones or if you just say you know what I really didn't mean to do dog collar just delete and are you sure you want to delete? Perfect. It's that simple. And I'm going to leave dog trainer in there and we have the option to start or return to projects. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I need to pause this video because it's going to take it a moment to go out and look for these URLs and find me some backlinks. Well, that was fast. We came up and 499 total pages were looked at, 491 new and unique, unique URLs were found, and 8 duplicates. So I can save the report, I can print it, or I can view results. I want to view these results. And at this point, we've got a nice listing of places we can work for. We can go find A, places that we can get backlinks from, B, linking partners in general, and C, we potentially have the opportunity to find people who would be our affiliates. Some of these people may link for you know link to us with an affiliate link. Some people may not. Um, but there again, we've got a huge selection. And at this point, if you want to view the site, you can just double click on it, and it will actually open up a browser, and which we just have. Let me minimize this, and it's that simple. I mean, if we just click on it, we can, you know, look at the site, find out if we think the site's relevant, and how to train a dog is probably pretty relevant to me. So, at that point, you know, you've got a nice selection of things. Now, there's one thing you can do. You can actually come in here. You can save your project. So, I'm just going to hit save. I'm going to call it dog test. Now, you can actually export these, which I, this is something I'm really excited about, the ability to export. I'm just going to export this as a dog test. And you can do it as a CSV file. So I'm just going to hit save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Okay. Actually, let me save here. Now, one thing I just want to make you aware of if you do the file export, you really need to name this something different than the project file. Otherwise, the software is smart enough to say, wait a second, you wouldn't want to rename your project file with the CSV file. So, so name it something and something different. And typically takes care of that. Um, one of those built-in safeguards to, because believe me, it's painful if you actually happen to delete all your backlinks you've gathered for a while and you delete them, you know, right off your computer. The kind of aggravating little thing to deal with. Now, I'm going to show you the neat little trick about this. We've just exported the list here. It's a CSV file. Now, you're trying to get local clients. You come up to the local client and you see, you know, you're, you're competing against other people. Now, if you show up with this, let's say it's a local dog trainer, and you go, you know what? These are the places I can get backlinks from, or these are the places we can work with getting backlinks or additional, you know, traffic from. Do you think showing up with five, a list of almost 500 places to get backlinks would definitely um, have your client excited? I think it certainly would, and there's so much stuff you can do in here. Sorry about that, I just happened to screw this up. One of the things you can do, you can even customize this. You can actually go through and if you want to, you can even add your own custom logo. Let me drop here, drop on my desktop and grab my header. Let me just pull this down here. Now you can easily modify this. Now just imagine you show up, your client, you've got your custom header on here. You've already done research about their website. You've got a list of places you can potentially get backlinks from. I don't know about you, but I promise you, your new client will be very happy you showed up. And we can also save the project, and I just did that. Now, one of the cool things, you can come back and you can open the project. 
let's just say you've, you've done a little test here and you want to find out some places to get additional backlinks so file open and at that point you know there's nothing new here to open but you can continually work on these projects you can even remove projects let me just open one here actually let me just do another one for you file new create a new project and this time I'm gonna call this one dog collar okay let's go ahead and run this and start collecting now one thing is very interesting the truth of the matter is it really makes no difference when it comes to getting backlinks a lot of oops that tells me we're done I can actually save the report here and you can save it as a rich text report which is very useful but I'm not I want to view these results a lot of people never think about it you can actually misspell the keyword you're searching for and you can find additional people that have own topic relevant pages and you could get them linking back to you with your main keyword spelt correctly this time and it's a great way to find some um, low-hanging fruit now one of the things you want to talk about is should come over here and let's just say we discovered we don't want these sites you can actually come in here you can remove the selected so I could actually and by the way remember this will permanently remove the items and all associated data so I'm gonna just highlight a bunch of them so you know what I decided I don't want squiddy lenses just don't want them in my search results pop up over here just highlight these guys file remove selected guess what it will remove them from the items and we can open the URL we can copy all these to the clipboard we can view notes so if you want to make some you know custom comments or anything not a problem and it's that simple you know you can actually come in and you can ignore the link you can set it as a new link added there's so many features in here but the reality of it is it's all designed to do one thing to get additional backlinks find people that you can link to find new people that could potentially be affiliates and it's one of those things at the end of the day it can help you make more money by having more traffic